Hi everyone and welcome back to Chromatic Knits. My name is Michelle and this is my podcast all about my knitting adventures. You can find me on Instagram as chromatic underscore knits and you can find me on Ravelry as chromatic knits. It has been two weeks since the last time we chatted. I hope that you've been well. I hope that your knitting adventures have gone well. And um, I have some knitting and some yarn and some other things to show you this week. So feel free to grab your own yarn, um, your own knitting, your crafting, your crochet, whatever it is that you're working on, or maybe you just your lunch or a nice cup of tea. And let's talk about some crafty chats. Before I get into it, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, and Aria is here, so in case you see her jump up, um, she's kind of walking around meandering. But I'm sure she'll... Yep, there she goes. <laughs> Join us anytime, right? Good girl. Yeah, you a good girl. <laughs> no, you don't have to stand on me. Yeah. Just lay down. Just lay down. She likes to just touch you. <laughs> All right. So I have a lot to share today. Um, the biggest thing that I have learned over the last two weeks is that I am not a monogamous knitter. I'm just not. <laughs> there are just days or times of day where I just don't feel like working on a project, where I want to, where I feel like. I want to work on something else. So sometimes it's just, you know, whether it's because the project is too complicated and I just don't want to think about it and I just want something basic that I don't have to think about too much or if it's like something I need a chart for, I don't want to, you know, and I don't want to sit somewhere where I have to look at a chart or just want to watch a movie or do something else. Um, plenty of reasons why I work on different projects at different times. Um, but basically, that is why my twists and turns is not done. Because I was like, yes, I'm going to knock it out this year. Because I don't have Christmas knitting to worry about, or to stress about, or to make me anxious, or make me feel guilty. And... I ended up working on other things anyway. <laughs> so that is what happened. Um, one of the things that I worked on, so I have a couple finished objects. And so I have many things that I've worked on. I've probably worked on more things in the last two weeks than I have in a long time. <laughs> so the first thing is I cast on a towel. So it's just a basic towel. I think this is, oh no. I lost the ball band for this. It's one of the like sugar and cream, I think it's called, colorways that you can get at like Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or whatever. Um, and I basically just knit it until it was a rectangle because when I, so I want this not to do dishes or not to dry necessarily, but I needed a cleaning cloth. So like for dusting and for doing other things. So when I clean, I like to have it like folded. So I'll just use like this side and then I'll flip it over and use the other side. And so now I can keep like doing that and just fold it in and out, inside out, and then use those sides. And then, so I wanted something that was big enough to fold multiple times, um, but also scrubby enough, that textured enough, if you can see that, that it would scrub a little bit. So, cause right now, we don't really have anything to use for things like that right now. So we've been using a lot more like paper towels than I would like us to be using. Um, so I'm trying to be a little bit more environmentally con uh, conscious. So I'm planning on making at least one more of these just to have so that in case one is in the wash, we can, we still have another one available. Um, and that I'm going to make some small dishcloths because we don't really have 
many of those either. So yeah, so that is one of my projects. This is a pattern um, I randomly found at like 10 o'clock at night on Ravelry. I cannot find it again. I tried looking for it again and I cannot figure out what it is. It is a free pattern. So all it is is you just knit for like five rows on the top and the bottom. And then the other rows. So originally this pattern is like actually supposed to be like half this width um, and not as tall as this. Um, but basically you just alternate. So you do two rows of knit purl two, knit purl, knit two purl two words. Um, you do two rows of knit two purl two and then you just switch it and you do two rows of purl two knit two. And then you just keep alternating those two rows, those two two row patterns until you end up with a towel. This supposed to be a dishcloth was the original pattern, but I made it into a towel. So yeah, so I'm really excited about that. So I can use that because I don't know about you guys, but my parents are coming for Thanksgiving and my mom's house literally looks like one of those houses on HGTV. Like it looks like nobody lives there all the time. Like it's like showroom ready all the time. I am a hot mess. <laughs> I am the opposite <laughs> of that. Like, there has to be at least some chaos. Otherwise, like, I cannot concentrate. <laughs> Excuse me. I need organized chaos. I need to know where my stuff is. But I need it to also be a little bit full of stuff. I also have ADHD, so we can do these things called making piles of doom. So they're piles where you don't organize them you only move them around so that's why it's called doom don't organize only move so you get these like doom piles everywhere and then um eventually they get so big that you go through them but um yeah so just a lot of like those types of things um going on but yeah so my parents are coming so which means that it is time not that I not that my house is dirty like it's not dirty like we vacuum and we clean and we do all those things but like you know it's time to do the things that I don't do every week like I don't dust my baseboards every week like I don't dust my cabinets every week right like those are things that you don't do every week so we're going to be doing that and we're going to need some cloths to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to be whipping another one of these up. I knitted this in like, I don't know, a day and a half, something like that. Two days, a day and a half um, earlier this week. So we're going to be able to knit another one real quick. So that is done. FO number one. FO number two. I haven't sewn in the ends, but I'm not going to show it on here again. So I have finished the Norwegian Totoro mittens that I was working on. So we've got Totoro on them both and we've got the thumbs. Do, do, do. Um, so these I knit out of just some scrap yarn that I had lying around. So the dark gray is Knit Picks Stroll in the ash colorway that I've held double because it's a fingering weight yarn. And then the light gray is Cascade 220 and I've lost the ball band, so I don't know what the colorway is, but it's just a light gray. Cas Cascade 220 worsted. So this pattern used to be available for free on... Ravelry, but then Studio Ghibli made them take it down, which Totoro is a Studio Ghibli character. They're, that's the name of the company that does like a lot of anime. Um, and Totoro is one of their characters. So they asked um, 
they asked Ravelry to take it down. So they did. But if you go on Google and just Google Norwegian Totoro Mittens PDF, it'll come up, which is how I found it. Um, and this is by Brella. So if you look on there, it'll say Brella's Norwegian Totoro Mittens. Um, you can find bits and pieces of the pattern on Pinterest, but I would be super careful because some of those links are like to other countries. So like there's one on there for like Russia and like there's one on there from like Italy or somewhere else. So I'd be a little nervous about clicking on some of those links. Maybe that's just me, but I would be nervous about getting some kind of virus or something. Um... But yeah, so if you just download it from that link, um, that's where I got it from. Um, it's really easy pattern. If you're at all used to reading charts, remember you start at the bottom right and work go left and work your way up. So yeah, so it's super simple. Um, would highly recommend this pattern. And that leads me into whips. So, I had so much fun knitting these mittens, and I have another person in my life who likes to do a Ghibli, so I'm going to be making them a pair of mittens for Christmas. So I started, this is the first mitten, I've got about a centimeter or so of the cuff done. So I have just enough yarn. I might be playing a little bit of yarn chicken. Um, so I'm going to be shortening the wrists, the cuff a little bit, um, so that I don't run out of yarn. But I've got about 40 grams left, which should be enough for another pair of mittens. Because this will be the third pair of mittens I've gotten out of that, that ball of Cascade 220. Because I knit those other small blue and gray mittens with that one as well. So, that is what this is going to be. Sorry if you hear the garage door. My partner just got back from grocery shopping. Um, and that is all being held in my Della Q bag. So this is the black rainbow, I believe is what this the colorway of this bag is and these you can get at there's Della Q's logo um these you can get at Jimmy Bean's wool that's where I got this one usually they come in a pack of two or three depending on what size you get this is the largest bag um so I just have I have the I mean this holds a lot so it's got three balls of yarn and two mittens and the start of a new mitten and ball bands for the stroll in here. So, and I mean, it's still got some room. It's still like, still got all that space. So, um, yeah, this is the first pattern. This is the first project I've used in one of these bags and I really like it. So would recommend for sure. So that is my first whip. Next whip. Cause again, like I said, this week, I, these two weeks, I wanted to stay on one project so naturally, I worked on the most amount of projects. So I did a little bit of work on my Slip Stravaganza blanket, which is a Stephen West pattern. I've gone over all these yarns in a previous episode, so please check that out there. Um, but what I've done is I've added two more of these bubble sections. So I've added the purple and the bear colorway. On the swish, nitpick swish up here. This is drops. Um, so, yeah. So I've got another another one of these. I have 12 of these total to do. So I'm almost done. I think I have like 10 now. Or I'll have 10 when I finish the bear bubbles. And then I just have a couple more left. And then I can move on to the next section. So that is exciting. That is very exciting. I'm ready to see what that looks like. So that is coming along. Talking about Stephen West. So actually I'll save that for last. 
So in case anybody doesn't want to see any spoilers, they don't have to. But other projects, another project that I've been working on is this, which is Pure Joy by Hohi Locatelli Shawl. Um, this is all knit in Plucky Knitter in their Rambouillet base. And the blue is the colorway Dive Bar and the gray is Smoke and Mirrors by Plucky Knitter. If you've never knit with Plucky Knitter yarn, like get on it. <laughs> They're great. Like I have so much of their yarn. I've loved, always loved knitting with it. It is yeah, like all their bases are amazing. Whether it's a Rambouillet base or their Oxford base, which is like their cashmere base, um, or whatever base it is, like it's all great. Hundred like ten out of ten. Um here is my little progress keeper. So that's where I was last time I showed this. So I've done a little bit over an inch or so. Um, if you're looking for this progress keeper, this is by Simply Serving. No. Super, super miniatures, super, super miniatures. So you can check that out there. It's a little penguin with a snowball. I figured it was appropriate because it's getting cold out and we're getting close to the winter time. So this is coming along. This is part of the Hohi Fall Knit Along that is still going on through the end of this month. Um, I registered to do this shawl. So if I finish it, then I can enter it for a prize, which is exciting. So I'm trying to get it done. Don't know if it will happen. But this shawl, y'all, like if you have not knit it and you are a fan of garter stitch, like this is like gonna be your jam. Like, oh my goodness. I just needed something mindless and garter stitch, like sign me up. So would highly recommend if you haven't, it is like, it, it is aptly named Pure Joy. It is a pure joy to knit. And this is being held in my bags by Awesome Granny. Bags has little knitting kittens. And some of them have glasses, which makes me happy because I have glasses. And I like kittens. I just wish the kittens were black. <laughs> because I have a black cat. Because Nugget is black. But it's still super cute. I love it. And I always get compliments on this bag. This is the largest bag, I believe. She has, I originally got this so that it could hold a sweater quantity. I mean, it's huge. So if you need a huge bag, like, that is the one. For sure. Okay, last whip. So, in case you don't want to see spoilers, this is my Stephen West Twists and Turns. I've only gotten through Clue 2. So, Clue 4 has been out for a while now. But just wanted to give you a heads up. So, because this shawl is a lot of knitting. Tis a lot of knitting. So, we have the rays on the side. And we have the cable section down there. And I haven't done the optional section yet, which is you add your, I don't know how he does it exactly. Basically, you take your um, accent color. So in this case, it would be this v v Wino Forever colorway. And then you put it into these cables to accent them. So I haven't gotten there yet. I think that might be part of Clue. I can't remember if that's part of Clue 2 or part of Clue 3. But it is coming along. Again, so much knitting. I just needed a break after the cables. I just needed a break. I was done. My brain was like, no moss cables. We can't do it. Um, but I'm still loving this yarn. Um, would highly recommend La Bienna May in the Cash Merino base. And is a light gray. Dire Wolf. And then the dark gray is Don't Fear the Reaper in their, well, it's their cashmere merino base. 
I think it's an 80-10 tint or an 80-15-5 or something. Um, that's the dark gray. I've said this in a previous episode. And then this is Madeline Tosh Singles in their Wino Forever base. Or Wino Forever colorway. So it's super soft and super squishy. And I cannot wait to wear it around my neck. But that means that I have to knit the other two clues. <laughs> so we will see. The goal is to knit this to completion by the time the next one comes out in October. Um, but I mean, the rest of it doesn't look bad. It's just um, more, it, there were more cables in, in section three and I was like, I need a break from cables. Like I just need to do something else. So I worked on all these other projects <laughs> instead of continuing with this one. I just needed a week off, you know? Sometimes you just gotta do it. Um, but that is all of my knitting. So I do have some yarn to show and I do have a couple of programs, a, a program and a, um, a catalog that I got in the mail to talk about. So first off we have the yarn. So this is, if you haven't, if you signed up to get the a Homespun House Halloween, sock set. This is the Hog Halloween Hogwarts 2022 colorway. Avert your eyes if you don't want to see it. So again, this has been out for a little bit though. I got this a, few, a couple weeks ago. Um, but it's so pretty. See all those awesome speckles in there? So Halloween with the orange and the purple and then the I don't know if you can tell, but the the mini is sparkle. If if I had to choose one dyer to like if I, like my desert island dyer, it would be a homespun house. One hundred and ten percent, it would be a homespun house. Oh my gosh, their yarn is a little bit more expensive. It is a treat yourself yarn, um. So keep that in mind. Um, but it is so worth it. It's always gorgeous. I've never, there's never a color that she comes out with that I'm like, no. The only one, okay, I lied. There was one and it was because it was super pink and I'm just not a pink person. But if I had somebody in my life who was a pink person, it would have been perfect. It was an amazing pink color. But, um, but yeah, this color knocked it out of the park. 10 out of 10. Um, and it's coming all the way from Germany. Her soft sock base, like, I don't know what's in it. If it's just, like, clouds and happiness. Like, I don't know. But it's so soft. It's the softest sock base, like, I've ever felt. It's crazy. So if you've never had her yarn, would highly recommend. And then Freckled Whimsy, I did a couple of their... Um, clubs so if you are if you were in the October clubs for um, Freckled Whimsy avert your eyes so this is the October yarn of the month it's called Autumn Breeze again it's by Freckled Whimsy so look at all those nice fall colors love it so much it kind of reminds me of like carnival colors maybe just me but I really like it. I think it's be really cool in a like a, in a hat. I think this would be really cool. Um, and this is on their serendipity base, which is a seventy five twenty five. Four hundred sixty yards though for hundred grams. Like that's a lot. That's awesome. So I'll have to think about that. Think about what I want to do with that. And then this one is their spells and things basically it's harry potter um this is polyjuice potion and i for anyone who's watched this for any length of time you know that i'm a huge harry potter fan am i a huge jk rowling fan no because she's very transphobic and i'm not a fan of that so but i fell in love with the Harry Potter stories when I was 13 years old and got my first book and it was magic from then on. 
huge fan. Um, so anybody who's making anything Harry Potter, I always want to support them. You know, I don't want to support J.K. Rowling. I want to support their small business. Um, this, I mean, even if you weren't a Harry Potter fan, like this colorway, like check out that ice blue that's in there. That's gorgeous. Like, I don't know what I'm going to make out of this. Maybe a hat, maybe some socks. I don't know, but it's awesome. And it's mine. And that's all I know. Um, and then I got one more thing from Freckled Whimsy, but I can't open it yet. So Freckled Whimsy for the holiday season, they did a 24 stripe advent sock yarn. So you get, so this is what I got. It says no peeking. Got these cute little gnomes on it until December 1st. And there are two 50 gram skeins in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two pairs of sock needles and knit them in tandem. Because I don't want to do two at a time because I've never done that. And yeah. So. Um, so that I can knit one stripe a day for the first 24 days of December. So that's exciting. I know that some other dyers do this as well, um, but this is my first year getting any of them. I've never gotten one before. So I'm really interested to see what Freckle Whimsy does because I really like the other yarns that I've gotten of theirs. So that is exciting. The other thing that came in the mail, which I didn't bring with me to show because you can't really see anything anyway, is the, I got my homespun house advent calendar so it's just their little little bags for each day and i'm so excited so excited it's gonna be awesome um it was awesome last year i got the one from last year and it was amazing would highly recommend it again homespun house is my desert island yarn for sure um all right, and then, so that is all of the yarn that I've gotten. Not that there isn't more in order. Don't tell my partner. But the other thing that I purchased, so if you had purchased a Pippin Pin class previously, they sent you an email giving you a 50% off coupon. So they had that available for their marketing for a designer's class. So I think it's 70 something Canadian dollars normally, 78 I think. So it was 34 Canadian dollars with the discount and I was like, yes, sign me up. So that's a little bit under $30 American. And I was like, yes, I will, that I can do. So I signed up, I haven't started it yet. I'm so excited. I did their idea to design course and it was awesome so I'm assuming that this one will also be awesome um they're so good they know what they're doing they know what they're talking about so if you haven't checked it out I would I will give you a better review of it once I start it um but I am very excited about that and then the last thing so I don't normally show nitpicks catalogs on here and I'm not an affiliate, like this is not sponsored by Nitpicks at all. But I just wanted to take a second because they have some new patterns coming out, like these three, especially that one. I wanna make that one so bad. But like all of these three are like super classic sweaters like anybody could wear. I don't know if these patterns are graded out to be size inclusive. I should have checked that, but I didn't. Like, look at this. Look at these patterns. Like, more than usual. I was like, dang, it picks. Knocked it out of the park. They usually are pretty size inclusive, though. So, hopefully, these are too. But I was just like stunned when I saw some of these patterns and I was like, 
And then, but the biggest thing, other than that sweater pattern that I'm like dying to make, is that they have a whole section on scrappy projects. So look, they've got like a scrappy home page. And they've got a scrappy like hats page. And they've got a whole page of like scrappy cowls. And scrappy mittens, which I haven't seen before, knit picks to before, which is awesome because who doesn't have scraps just lying around that you don't know what to do with? So, and then the rest of it is just tools and bags and needles and things. But, um, but yeah, so if you haven't gotten your November, this is the November catalog, um, I would definitely check it out and they have all this on their website as well but um I just saw those patterns and was like nitpicks you have knitted you have hit it out of the park you have knitted out of the park <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah, um especially again that brioche sweater I was like what is it brioche wrapper is the name of the pattern I'm like yes please where how how do how do where do I sign up for that so check that out I'm also going to be checking out um, pom-poms winter edition has come out in linas I'm super excited for those as well so be on the lookout for those um, otherwise that is all I have for this week um, I will see you again in two weeks time I know it's happened a couple of times in a row. Tis a miracle. But I'm going to keep knitting. I hope that you are enjoying your knitting. I hope that it is bringing you joy. I hope that everything is going well for you and that you are having a safe and fun holiday season. And I will see you again in about two weeks because um, that'll be around Thanksgiving. So I'm not sure how um like when I'm going to be able to podcast but it'll be about two weeks from now all right I will see you in two weeks have a great um Thanksgiving if you're in America bye guys